Have you ever taken something for granted? Maybe you've driven past a beautiful old building hundreds of times and you never even noticed it was there. All of my life, I've been surrounded by hundreds of my father's paintings and thousands of his drawings. And yet it wasn't until recently, with him not in the best of health and in his twilight years, that I looked again at his life's work with fresh eyes and realised just how good it is. And I'd like to share that with you. Please come with me as we explore the art of Gary Lee Gaston. In this episode, we'll look at some favourites from my personal collection, starting with this one. Back Road at Currency Creek. Painted in 1995, this shows an artist in peak form. Like all of his work, the bulk of it is done on the spot. Gary always avoided painting from photos where possible. Technically, it's beautifully crafted. The horse and cart pull us into the middle distance. It has lovely depth and balance and intricate use of colours and textures to reflect the mood of the day. And it tells a story. Gary spent hours and hours sketching animals and studying their movements and posture. These horses are excellent. And I love the interaction between these two dogs. It just creates a wonderful tension. I love the mood created by this painting. The thought that the family is tucked inside their house, while outside in the light of the full moon, there's a whole story unfolding. It's subtle. You have to search for the fox and the hens. Like any great picture, there's something new to notice every time you have another look. The cow in the distance, right by the wall of the house. The light of the moon reflecting off the house and the rooftops, the tractor. This is a portrait of me at age six, painted in 1971. It's an oil sketch completed inside two hours. It's beautifully set out. It captures the essence of the person, deep in thought, probably watching TV to keep me occupied. And you can tell that the artist cares for the subject. One of the reasons Gary did a lot of self-portraits is simply because he couldn't entice other members of the family to sit for him when he wanted to practice. Harrogate Sunset the colours in this small piece are exquisite and they capture the feel of the evening dusk. The composition's beautifully balanced. His perspective is spot on and the cows are wonderfully captured with an economy of brush strokes.
fully appreciate Gary's work, we need to understand what it's not. It's not super realism, where you paint every blade of grass and every leaf on every tree. If you want that, why not take a photo? No, this, this is Australian Impressionism. Much like the artists from the Heidelberg School over 100 years ago, Tom Roberts, Arthur Streeton, Frederick McGubbin. Gary uses bold colours and brush strokes to convey a mood and capture a feeling. If you look at it up close, it's simply blobs of paint. But when we come back to the correct viewing distance, it all comes together. This scene of the Clare Valley is Gary's choice as the best picture in my collection. The composition is wonderful. It gives us such depth. The three levels of a good landscape are evident, the foreground, middle distance and background. And the use of colour. Gary has always compared colour to musical notes. He doesn't see colour like normal people such as myself. I can look at snow as white. He'll point out the blues, the reds, the purples. Ironically, Gary can't sing a note in tune, but with a paintbrush, he can construct a symphony. This is Brown Hill Creek. A lovely painting looking from Belair Road down into the valley. For me, it evokes very strong childhood memories. We lived just around the corner from here and I spent many hours yabbying and exploring this valley. Later in my attempts to be a bit of an athlete, I got to know this road very well through many training runs. This picture of the iconic waterfall gully also means a great deal to me. I estimate I've burnt over 100,000 calories over the last 20 years, trekking the four kilometres from here to the top of Mount Lofty once a week. Although not one of Gary's favourites, I think his use of colour and the reflections in the water show that he's got the mood and the feeling perfectly. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we'll have a look at what Gary thinks are some of his better pieces. Until then, have a look around and notice something new.